Hello, my name is Cameron Johnson, and today we're going to be talking about the personal attire aspects of business etiquette. So, have you ever found yourself either preparing for an interview or even, you know, you already got the job and it's your first day, but you don't know what to wear? What do I wear? What is business casual? Is this job even business casual, or is it casual? Is it elevated? Is it, you know, if there's just there's so many things to think about. So what you choose to wear does impact you, um, and that's negatively or positively. It can either set you apart from the competition um, in a good way or a bad way. So it's really important to know what's appropriate for your job, and appropriate will change from job to job. So Again, every job is different and the culture and the job itself are going to affect what is appropriate to wear on the job. So um, each job will probably have um, its own separate code of conduct, um, its own, you know, dress code. Um, in my personal experience, I've never had a job where I've had to um, or excuse me, where I've had the same uniform or the same um, dress code. So, for example, I work in two different restaurants. One of them requires me to wear a shirt with their business logo. One of them says that I can wear whatever I want. Um, and I also work at a nursing home where I have the option of scrubs or khakis, um, and I usually go with scrubs. So it's just, it depends on how professional, it depends on the job, um, and it's important, again, it's important to establish what makes sense for the job, and when in doubt, ask your boss what's most appropriate. Um, it's better to show up prepared on the first day, even if you're embarrassed to ask, um, you know, what do I wear to your future employer? It's better to show up prepared um, than to show up wearing something that is out of their dress code, that's inappropriate. Um, it's just a bad first impression and it, that will set you apart from your peers in a negative way. Um, so there's multiple different things to consider when you're actually thinking about what business casual actually is. Um, and the first thing I want to speak on is personal hygiene. Uh, making sure your hair is brushed, making sure your teeth is brushed, you just have a clean appearance um, to your peers because looking um, disgruntled, you show up in the morning with bed head and stinky breath, um, your coworkers will not appreciate that and neither will your employer. Um, so it's very important that you have a cleanly look, you take care of yourself. Um, and that's for any job, it doesn't matter how professional you are. It's always important that you at least look like you're trying to take care of yourself. Um, that doesn't mean for girls you have to show up in a full face of makeup and, you know, just something overdone and, like, you don't have to go out of your way. It's just, like, doing basic care and hygiene to take care of yourself is very important when you're working in a professional setting. So, um... For women, business casual is going to include any sort of blouse, dress shirt, khakis, slacks, um, modest heels, or just loafers of any sort, and um, skirts and dresses at an appropriate length. And I believe many businesses have um, tank top rules that it's um, like three or four finger width. Um, but it, again, that's going to change based on your place of employment. And then for men, I would say business casual, again, is going to include any sort of slacks, um, button downs, khakis, or a sport jacket, um, if you're feeling extra fancy that day. And basically, um, anything that's not jeans or jean shorts, um, um, any anything super short or just like a casual tee like what I'm wearing right now like that would not be considered business casual um, and again everything is going to change whether you are working at a place that's more elevated of uh, working at a nursing home you're not going to wear business casual to a nursing home unless you're you know the big boss or an HR representative um, 
So failing on this look can and will impact you negatively and um, it's important to get right. So for my visual aid, I'm going to be showing some good examples of what is business casual um, to me. So starting um, with what I pick from my closet basically. So like for a girl I picked just a white button down blazer. Um, just something appropriate and cute and khaki slacks. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I wanted to show this shoe. Uh, it's modest, it's appropriate, and um, it just elevates the look. So from my dad's closet, I <laughs> picked this green button-down shirt and a tan sport coat which could be paired with any slack or khaki again um so thank you for um listening about personal attire i just want to reiterate that um business casual doesn't just mean you know what your clothing is it's very important to get the whole look from head to toe right and it really does affect you negatively and positively whether or not you fail to get this look or um, you wear something inappropriate on the first day. It really does set you apart in a good or bad way. So it's important to know what you're getting yourself into. So thank you and have a good day.